seriously, this is tough. <laughs> my son Blake with me today because we've decided we want to be American Ninja Warriors. So we are here at Republic Warrior Sports with John Taylor, the owner. John, thanks for letting us come in. My pleasure. Thank you. So tell me who comes, who works out here? A variety of ages, really everything from three up. We have preschool classes from three to five year olds. We have junior warrior classes, which are six to 12 year olds. We have a competitive youth travel team, which most of them are in their teens, um, around 10-ish for them. Uh, we also have a lot of uh, adults that come and play as well. Now the thing I'm most excited about is the fact that you were actually on the show, weren't you? I was. I was on a season eight of American Ninja Warrior. That'd be 2016. And how'd you do? I did well. I did well. I didn't get to hit a buzzer, unfortunately, but oh. I had a really good time. So yeah. yeah. So whenever you're working out for that, how do you prepare for that? Because you can't see the course, right? You can't. So now the best way. How do you know what you're going to have to do? Well, the best way for us to uh, to get ready for the course is a lot of us do leagues outside of the show. Uh, Ultimate Ninja Athletes Association is one, National Ninja League is another. There are worldwide ninja leagues that cultivate in the world finals. So we travel and compete at all these other gyms, so we get a really good just uh, exposure to multiple obstacles. So Lots once of variety. We, yeah, once we get on the show, we've kind of seen a lot of things and hope that we can deal with whatever they throw at us. Yeah. So do you have a, like a set workout here for your pro or just anyone that wants it, to come in and work out here? Well, it varies. We have 30 classes a week, and right now we're full on kids' classes. So we, every week we change up what they do. Uh, we actually have this program called the wristband testing program. So what the kids will do is they'll train all month long in the last uh, week of the month. They'll uh, try to conquer a, a course and if they're able to do that, then they get a wristband, kind of like martial arts belts. Mm -hmm. And it keeps them progressing through harder and harder and harder courses and that gives them a really good goal. And as far as with my adults, I switch up our OCR class every about month or so to kind of change what we're doing in here. All right, so is this a lot different when you're working muscles um, than, say, weightlifting? Yes. What yes. are you going to see difference-wise? As far as build or just, this yeah. is really the, what I would call the pinnacle of functional fitness. We have to really be able to deal with whatever is thrown at us, not just you know lifting weights. Does cardio play a role in that? Huge. Well, it, for us that do obstacle course racing, yes, like Spartan racing and, and Tough Mudder and stuff like oh, that. Right, right. We A lot of us do as much ninja as OCR, so we're constantly running and dealing with, you know, running up half marathon on top of doing 50, 60, 100 obstacles. So. Well, I'm excited. You gonna walk us through? Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. you ready, Blake? You completely wore us out. Yeah. I'm not as strong as I thought uh, I was. You did great. Was, you did great. Is. I think I think he's ready for the show, don't you think? Yeah. I think he's Right ready. now, American Ninja Warrior Junior, Junior is casting for season three. There you go. All right, if to people apply. want more information about your gym, how do they find you? Go to RepublicWarriorSports.com, our website. Also follow us on social media, uh, Facebook and Instagram, Republic Warrior Sports. Oh, this Pretty is easy. So much fun, so hard, but you've got to try it. Thanks for having thank, me, John. Uh, thank you. It was great.